Hello everyone. So in this lecture, I'm going to discuss a point that is the difference between the standard deviation and standard error. Many students get confused because of this. So I decided to take up on this area. Okay, so give the heading standard deviation, standard deviation versus standard error. See, we all of us know the formula for each of the two. The only issue is to understand the difference between them. Basically, the interpretation, actually what they want to speak, what standard deviation want to speak and what standard error want to speak. Clear? Now suppose uh, you have been given with the these numbers. What are they? There are actually 10 students in the class. 10 students in the class and you have taken their maths test. Clear? So the test was of 100. Clear? Out of which the 10 students have scored these numbers. Clear? So from these numbers, can we calculate the mean? Yes, we can calculate the mean. Can we calculate the standard deviation? Yes, we can calculate the standard deviation. Clear? So, so what is the mean? The mean is going to be 88. Write down. The mean is going to be 88. Clear? I am not going into that discussion how you are getting this mean or how you are getting this standard deviation. My perspective over here is to make you understand the difference between these two terms. Clear? Now, what is the variance 6.8 write down variance 6.8 and standard deviation is 2.61 2.61 how you got this square root of 6.8 so now you have the mean you have the standard deviation how to calculate the standard error how to calculate the standard error you remember standard deviation divided by root over n that is root over 10 this is your standard error this is your standard error see again my perspective is not to uh, get into this standard error or standard deviation my perspective is to help you to understand the uh, differentiation between these two terms clear it is going to be 0 0.83 0 0.83 clear write down 0 0.83 so over here what we need to understand is the difference between these two numbers 2.61 and 0 0.83 clear so, if I tell you what is the meaning of 2.61, see, there are 10 students, here their average is 88, but how much students are actually deviating from the mean, how much they are deviating, they can deviate towards the left side, they can also deviate towards the right side, but how much they are deviating, they are deviating by 2.61, clear, this is the meaning of the standard deviation, how much you are deviating from your mean, how much you are deviating from your mean. So, what is the meaning of this 0 0.83? The meaning of this 0 0.83 is that, suppose, suppose in your class, suppose in your class, you have 100 students, here, out of which, out of which you have taken the data of 10 students and from that student you have calculated these numbers, okay, you have calculated the mean and you have calculated the standard deviation, clear. Now, suppose, suppose this is your sample one, clear. Sample 1 mean is how much? 88 is the mean of sample 1. Clear? Again, you will take another sample. From these 100 students, you will pick up another 10 students. Clear? And when you will calculate the 10 students, when you will calculate the 10 students, the new mean, the new mean, see, the original mean is 88. The new mean which you are calculating, it will deviate by how much? 0 0.83. The new mean will deviate by how much? 0 0.83 means it can be 88.83 clear or it can be 82.17 clear the new mean will deviate how much will tell you will be told by the standard error standard deviation is telling how much the marks of the student is deviating hopefully you are understanding the difference again you are again you are calculating the sample 3 this is your sample 3 from the sample 3 you are calculating the mean clear there is a new mean suppose this mean is uh, 88.14 clear so you see what is the original mean 88 the new mean you will calculate that will come in the range of 82.17 and 88.83 clear so standard deviation is telling that how much the marks of the student will deviate from the mean standard error is telling you how much is the sample mean will deviate 
from the original mean clear now if you want to write down i will dictate you uh, two lines write it down if you were to repeat the sampling process many times if you were to repeat the sampling process many times and each time and each time calculate the sample mean and standard error and each time calculate the sample mean and standard error the sample mean the sample mean would be distributed the sample mean would be distributed around the true population mean around the true population mean with an average deviation of 0.83 means if you are going to take multiple mean if you are going to take multiple mean that mean is actually deviating around the population mean clear it's not the same but yes it is deviating around it how much it will deviate it will deviate by the amount of standard error it will deviate by the amount of standard error clear now you will see that in case of hypothesis testing okay or some other topics you are somewhere using standard deviation means uh, when you are calculating the confidence interval you see mu plus minus z into sigma but sometimes you see that the sigma is replaced by the standard error that is sigma divided by root over n so when to use the standard error when to use the standard deviation write down to calculate a confidence interval to calculate a confidence interval for the population mean for the population mean you would use you would use the standard error you would use the standard error along with the along with the t distribution along with the t distribution to determine to determine the range of values the range of values within the within the true population mean within the true population mean is likely to lie true population mean is likely to lie so suppose you want to calculate the confidence interval at 95% confidence interval so how you will calculate mu plus minus z into sigma what is your mu 88 plus minus what is your z 2.33 here and uh, what is your sigma but over here you are going to use the standard error that is 0.83 clear so your confidence interval will be 86.11 and 89.89 clear so this is a short video just to help you to understand the difference between the standard deviation and standard error where to use standard deviation where to use standard error clear so i am ending this lecture here thank you